Welcome back to NBS Live at 9. Civil society organizations warn of heightened corruption ahead of uh, next year's election. The CSOs now want tough action against civil servants who cause loss of public funds, as the Auditor General report of last financial year had recommended. Civil society organizations are worried over the increase in corruption, especially as political campaigns hot up, saying this will further complicate Uganda's already complicated debt situation, which now stands at $13 billion. They also blame government's reckless spending by illegally using supplementary budgets without parliamentary approval, which they say lead the country deep and into debts with high interests. All we need is clear planning so that we plan against the resources we have. Because if we don't do that, we are forced to borrow. Sisi Kagaba, the executive director of Anti-Corruption Coalition Uganda, note that loopholes highlighted by Auditor General are quite obvious, like letting staff responsible for losses off the hook instead of holding them responsible. Ultimately, further losses ensue as government ends up with costly gunsh orders. We show that the people that are supposed to oversee the state house actually do their role. Some decisions are politically motivated, uh, whereby uh, appointments are sometimes political. If a person is politically appointed, it creates impunity. The civil society organizations maintain that supplementary expenditure not approved by parliament is breaking the law. But why is it always the state house that is continuously asking for these um, supplementary budgets? One, well, that undermines the budgeting process. And of course, the timing is very suspect. Why now? CSOs believe the solution is to speed up with audits reports and prosecution. Sometimes even if you have a different president and the system is compromised, then actually it's not, you don't have to look at the president per se. Look at the whole system. We need the so-called people who call themselves honorables or people who are saying they're into the fight against corruption to say no to giving out this money. In the new amendments made recently in Parliament, members of Parliament rejected the proposal prohibiting candidates from obtaining election funds from foreign governments, individuals and institutions who have demonstrated an intention to overthrow the government of Uganda and also terrorist organizations. The 2021 elections are expected to attract a few million contenders of the one million and a half positions. Civil society organizations note that Uganda's politics has been commercialized with voters demanding for facilitation and contenders with access to public funds stealing to fund the campaigns. There's a lot of voter bribery within the system and you're going to find that those that are supposed to follow through and take action do not have the capacity or some of them have already been compromised. Corruption should be corruption, should be dealt with as corruption. But once corruption begins having a political face, whereby the corrupt can hide behind a political veil, then um, it defeats the purpose of fighting corruption. Modekai Mulisa, Nabu Kenya Amina, NBS, live at nine. Now, as part of their contribution to the national cur curriculum for lower secondary education, Uganda Kingdom officials are proposing that Luganda be made